Magnolia Emporium, located in historic South End in Charlotte's Gold District, right next to historic Wilmore neighborhood. Home decor. Home decor. Interior design. Interior design. Residential and hospitality open to the trade. 307 Lincoln Street in the dark gray building, right behind Unno Brewery and Craft Growler Shop. Magnolia Emporium. Listening to what a client wants, whether spoken or unspoken. We want your space to reflect your success. <laughs> Portions of the day's programming are reproduced by means of electrical transcriptions or tape recordings. <laughs> you can either tap in the crystal program. I am the one and only crystal. The Chris Top Program. And I'm the one and only Chris Top, broadcasting live from Nashville, Tennessee, Commodore Grill, Poolside, Bahama Mamas, Coronas, and stuff. Well, we're sort of Poolside, but not really. Stuff, thanks. Yeah. Sort they didn't want to get us too close kinda. to the pool. That, yeah, that can get kind of dangerous sometimes. Cannonball! <laughs> Everybody just gets quiet. What is she yelling cannonball for? Because we just talked about the pool. I, yeah, mean, I know. I'm I know. being relevant. Well, I know, to the but conversation. not everybody can hear what I'm talking about. So they can definitely of, hear you. So sick of you always being so judgmental. To, yeah, exactly. All the time. I mean, damn. <laughs> so, how is Nashville treating you guys today? Man, I love Nashville. It's yeah. Especially during like the CMA week and everything, and we've got like the Stanley Cup playoffs and all that. I mean, a lot of stuff going on. Oh my gosh. Now, were you a hockey fan before this? You know. Yes and no. I don't really follow hockey that much, but I have been to a couple. I'm from Oklahoma, and it's, which is pretty close to Dallas, Texas, and uh, I've gone to a couple of Dallas Stars games, and it's a blast. So yeah. So I really thoroughly enjoy going and watching in person. Mm-hmm. Um, like I said, I really don't. I don't really watch much TV anyway. Yeah. So. I didn't even. I wouldn't have known it was hockey season. Right. <laughs> and, until all this stuff started happening and right. things started getting crazy. But it's going to be real crazy, I guess, tomorrow because, I mean, it's still CMA Fest going on and they're, they're playing mm-hmm. tomorrow here. So it's going to be nuts. I'm not even sure if we're going to be able to make it tomorrow. We'll be stuck in traffic I mean, for we'll seven hours. We'll yeah, have to leave like six hours early or something. If you're planning a trip Dang. to Broadway, definitely plan yeah. uh, the day in advance. Now, how do I stalk you online? Where do okay, I find so um, I'm on face. I'm on the Facebooks. I'm on. Uh, I'm on the Twitter. Facebooks. <laughs> As the kids say these days, um, I'm on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, my Facebook page is Colin Mills OK. Okay. And Twitter is at Colin Mills OK. And do you have a website too, or, or I, just the Facebook? I right do now? not currently have a website. We're getting okay. that up and running. Okay. We've got a lot of cool things in the works. Gotcha. So, so does that? Oh, go go ahead. ahead. Does that mean uh, Colin Mills is uh, okay, or it's like it's Colin Mills okay? Well, we just figured that <laughs> social, social media is such a cool platform to use that you know we kind of have foregone the the traditional methods of doing things. You know, like with like the dot com website gotcha. and everything. Um, you got to be new you and innovative. You almost don't have to do that anymore. No, no. I think no the only reason we have a website is just because they can find all of our other networks there. It kind of legitimizes a little bit too, so I'd probably I probably end up yeah. doing it. You know, yeah. But, um, Got to be legit about Plus it. You can't. I mean, you can't have your face in too many places. Yeah, that's true. So. And you can sell merchandise and stuff like that Absolutely. on there, I guess. Right yeah. On, yeah. Now, do you have any merchandise? Or I, I actually don't yet. We're getting that coming too. Okay. Um, I signed a, I signed my record deal uh, just last year, and we just now yesterday released my first album. So it's. Oh. I'm pretty like. So I'm, it's a big week for a, you. Right. It's a. This is my freshman effort, so I'm pretty new to new to the game a little bit, I guess you could say. Okay. So. Uh, now, is it a full album or is it an EP? It is a full 10-track album. 10 tracks. And it's self-titled Colin Mills. Okay, now Aww, did you write snap. all the songs on it or have, co-write? Um, I have either written or co-written the majority of the songs. Um, 
aside from two songs. One is a cover that was written originally by Bob Dylan mm. uh, to make you feel my love. Okay. Which was made famous by Garth Brooks, you know, several gotcha. years ago. That's probably the one that everybody knows the most. I think Adele did it recently. And um, my my second single, which was released a couple weeks ago, a long time coming. I didn't write that either. Actually, um, Steve Purcell sitting next to me, my guitar player, is uh, one of the co-writers on that track. So okay. I, so I thought that was kind of an interesting thing I could bring him. Nice. Now, do you uh, do you get a chance to collaborate a lot with people, or are you are you better solo? You know, I I, I tend to work better um, sort of in the 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 creative process by myself. Um, I love bouncing ideas off of people, though. Mm-hmm. And as I've been coming to Nashville a lot in the last the last couple of years, pretty much, it's been. It's really been a, a big learning experience, and it's really neat to see how you know all of these artists in this town work together. Sure. Mm-hmm. To make to make their art instead of just a, you know a hundred thousand random things going yeah. in different directions. You've got these people that come together as sort of like a big extended family. Yeah, I that's mean, really cool. You know, in a lot yeah. of senses, I think it could be pretty cutthroat oh, in Nashville. Well, but then again, you find the right people there. You won't find a better crowd of people willing to know, work with you and help you. I've heard horror stories, especially sure. when I was getting into this this whole thing, and um, you know and do's and don'ts and all this and that but really I haven't found so much of that it's yeah. it's, it's been a kind of, kind of a relief cuz I was kind of nervous when I was you know my first trip out and everything sure um, I mean even even the industry folks are really for the most part really cool people and, and really yeah. down to earth the ones that I've met anyway um, for every one douchebag there are a million people that aren't douchebags that's exactly so. right yeah so well, buy douchebags totally, exactly yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to sing for us today uh, I think first we're gonna do my uh, my second single that I've released. Uh, it was released to radio, like I said, about two, I think three weeks ago. Uh, it's called "Long Time Coming." Okay. And it's just a really feel good tune, so we're gonna we're gonna give that one a shot. For All right, you. let's do it to it. Cool. I'm gonna jam to it. <laughs> See those highway signs coming They're coming way too fast And I wonder if this old car will last And through my double vision I keep both eyes on the road Oh, I won't slow down I won't give up cause you know It's been a long time coming Through the wind, through the rainy days It's been a long time coming Just the same, it ain't no game You never have to be alone it's been a long time coming We've had our share of disappointments But I could never forget What those days and nights have meant to me And I love those old memories Yeah, they keep me driving on Oh, I won't stop, baby, till I'm back in your arms It's been a long time coming Through the wind, through the rainy day It's been a long time coming Just the same, it ain't no game You never have to be alone It's been a long time coming It's been a long time coming Through the wind, through the rainy days 
It's been a long time coming Just the same, it ain't no game You never have to be alone It's been a long time coming Nice job. Bravo. It's got a, a good classic rock kind of feel to but, it for me. Yeah, it, it really like kind of Jackson Brownish. It kind of reminds you of it reminds me of like uh, some of the some of the really popular country music that was coming out of like the mid 90s. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Sort of that kind of just drive sure. feel good stuff. Yeah. Nostalgic. Um, right. And uh, I like to thank Steve Purcell on the guitar playing with me and everything. He's done that was about a big. Does he make you does Steve make you sound good? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, so I mean, I yeah. Be, he, that's, there's, there's a reason why he's here with me. <laughs> so. And you guys play together a lot? We don't. This is actually the second day that we've gotten together. We met for the first time last night. We've been communicating okay. over the last several months. Um, gotcha. He actually, since he turned me on to this track, you know, a long time ago, um, and I decided that I was going to cut it. Um, but we never actually have gotten together until yesterday, like I said. So it was, you know, it's really kind of a cool thing. Uh, uh -huh. we, we rehearsed a little bit last night and... And got to come and play for you fine folks. So Nice. Yeah. So is this like the high point of your whole trip right here? Um, right now? Be careful now. TJ's over here. <laughs> yeah. Anytime that I get to hang out with TJ Cates <laughs> is the high point of my life. TJ is like already in his tux and right. he's like. I know. He's like a day oh, early on the tux. I don't even know. He's all like swagalicious he's over already, there. See, I got a tux for tomorrow and he's already showing me up like a day before. Well, I mean, if you don't How am I supposed to compete? To change into it, right? How am I supposed and to compete with that? And his shoes are on. Uh, what's on your agenda for tonight and tomorrow? So tonight, I'm actually going to take it easy. Um, I'm kind of beat from getting here and uh, sure. yeah. and hanging out last night and stuff. Um, so I'm going to take it easy, I think, after I have some lunch and uh, and go walk around for a little bit. And But tomorrow, I'm going to be uh, doing probably five or six tunes um, with Steve again at Bobby's Idol Hour. Yeah, that's going to be a big deal right. over there. Yeah, there's right. a, lot of, a lot of you guys from National Entertainment Weekly Absolutely. over there doing it's your thing. It's going to be a really cool event. Um, and I'm really grateful for TJ and Jill for putting, putting that all together for us and everything. Sure, sure. So, uh, Nashville, what do you think? Is it, is, is it a place that you want to call home or what? Nashville, you know, I, I, hate, I don't want to be a bandwagon guy, but it, the first time I came here, it was a second home already. Yeah. I don't know why. I mean, I'm from a pretty small town in Oklahoma. Um, you hear that story a lot, but I'm from a pretty small town, so, I mean, any trip to the big cities is cool, but you don't really get the big city feel as much in Nashville as you do in other sure. large cities. It's it's very much a small town still at heart, sure. even though it's, you know, it's got people from all walks of life. Yeah. And it's absolutely massive. Well, it's you definitely a, the same thing that draws everybody here, right. so you've automatically right, right, got right. something in common with a big part of the population. The, the, you know? the cultural, cultural diversity in this town is really cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just... It, you know, you learn a lot just walking outside and walking yeah. down the street. So you, you get to talk to really cool people. And, I mean, you might get an Uber from somebody that played, you know, in the NFL two yeah. years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I have an Uber car in Nashville now. <laughs> so, I mean, that's just, it's really neat to me. And I, but, yeah, I'm, I'm really, I'm planning on making a move pretty soon. I was looking at places a few months ago. Um, it's just, you know, it's tricky to find the right, the right spot around sure. here with housing costs and everything. Yeah, and, Absolutely. Absolutely, yeah, and, and when you're an artist, you know you gotta you gotta live right. on a budget sometimes. Absolutely, for sure. So, yeah. So that's always something that everybody wants to be cognizant about, I guess. But mm -hmm. um, but I love Nashville. Mm -hmm. Is the short answer to that? Good question. people, good times, right, right exactly. on. <laughs> and I mean, they don't call it Music City for nothing. That's exactly. true. Exactly. There's now, where music are some of the everywhere. venues? Where are some of the venues here that you'd like to play eventually? Um, well, you know the, I mean, obviously the Holy Grail of country music venues would be playing the Opry. Sure. Um, you know, hopefully I get lucky enough one day to, to have that chance. But um, I thought you were going to say the Holy Land. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, there's a lot of cool places on Broadway. I'd like to play AJ's sometime. Um, uh, you know, just some little... Some little so wherever you can play, you'll play a bit. Right, yeah. yeah. I mean, Nashville is a really cool place because even the small venues are, are some of the most well-known sure. places. You know, um... I mean, it was the, the Bluebird. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, it's a, it's know, a pretty endless that, list, that's I think. probably up there, actually, in the, in the top five places that I'd like to get in my, my foot in the door one day. Yeah. yeah. Now, are, do you see yourself as, a, uh, as an entertainer first or a songwriter first? Um, that's a really good question. Um, I uh, probably, probably a little healthy blend of the two. Mm -hmm. um, if you just had to choose one, what would you choose? Definitely performer, That's not fair, I bet. Yeah. Right. Yeah. De definitely entertainer. Um, so you like being up in front of the people? What's the draw yeah, for that? Right. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. any artist that gets up and plays music in front of people has to enjoy that or, yeah. or crave that on some level, you know, sure. whether they admit it or not. Yeah. Um, what do you think it is about that that's so special? I mean, is it the applause? Is it the, the feeling of connection with people? Or? For me, it's like that one moment, and it always happens one time when you notice, like you kind of take take yourself out of what you're doing at, 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 in the moment and look out in the audience and actually are thinking about it and you see that one person that's really connected yeah you know to what you're doing and that's all it has to be is one person it doesn't right, matter yeah right. and if, it could yeah. be it could be an entire room full of people talking and not paying attention to you but if there's right. one person that's real that connection is really important so that's part of it but then also it's just this this urge to be around people and i right. completely you know, it's, understand it's like this Part of me could go live in the country and never see a soul for the rest of my life, but the other part of me just craves. Uh -huh. craves it's like you have to life. have that, right. you know? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I would. I think I'd starve if I didn't. I completely know. understand. Now, with you being in the music industry, how, how does that make the love life suffer? <laughs> Actually, you know what? Um, I just started uh, dating again recently. Uh -huh. um, Ooh la la. I, I have a girlfriend now. <laughs> yeah. And so it's it's been really cool, but it took me a while to get to the point to where I felt like I wanted to have a relationship yeah you know um so it almost it's almost like you you feel like you're being unfair i think sometimes that's, that's to, to a partner totally it yeah because i mean I'm, I'm i consider myself a pretty selfish person in that respect you know i i've been doing my own thing for a little while and it's, i don't think that's being selfish because i mean if they understand that music's your first love then they they just have to understand that and, the, and, and as long as they know that going into it right right <laughs> right i mean that's one of, and that's probably one of the reasons why i because I, I probably took two or three years off from dating at all i mean completely yeah. and you know, but it probably took that long just to find somebody that that is that is okay and that fits well with, you know, and that understands to some extent you know, gotcha. what I'm doing and what I'm trying to do with my life. Yeah. And so, you know, I think I've got a pretty good one. You so. know, I always ask that question, and and people, I think sometimes just probably think I'm just being nosy. No. But I mean, I think it's good good for other artists to hear the answer to that, so so they know they're not alone right. in that yeah. situation. You know, I don't want to sound selfish and, and tell my boyfriend or my girlfriend that, you know, music is my first love. But that's just how it has to be sometimes. Uh, Especially yeah. if you come to a place like Nashville, you got to compete. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you got to give it everything there. you got. You can't yeah. just right. you can't just half ass it. You know, you know? I, always, I always kind of felt like that it, it what, to me, it, it really wasn't I didn't see it from the other person's perspective perspective is so much a competition because it's really not something that i love it's just part of you know like it's part of me it's just it's just it's just there right so i'm not like i'm not like trying to juggle the two the two loves because mm -hmm. i mean one is just a given it's like it's just yeah. who i am so, just who you that's a good way to put it yeah right. yeah i never really thought about that colin just enlightened me that's <laughs> you good. have been enlightened hundreds of interviews he's the first one ever said that yeah well, mine I, mind Blown. <laughs> you might be the first one to ever say that. Definitely yeah. on the air, too. Yeah, you should be good. like a philosopher or something. We should just end the show now on that. I mean, that was good. I guess I should just quit music. <laughs> <laughs> ah, now, what, what we want to do, um, why don't we let Colin book. sing one more song, <laughs> okay. and then as soon as he's done, you want to close it out? Yeah, let's okay, do it. Now, uh, one more time, where can we find you on the social networks? So I'm on Facebook, Colin Mills OK. And I'm on OK, Twitter. like OKAY or OK? Like, I'm sorry, Colin Mills OK is in OK. The abbreviation for Oklahoma. Gotcha. Colin gotcha. Mills, okay. Oh, well, now gotcha. we know. Right. And, and knowing this half the battle. And I'm on Twitter, at Colin Mills. And uh, I'm also on Instagram, um, Showtunes87 on Instagram. You can find gotcha. all those. All, all What's your favorite? Uh, definitely Facebook is my Facebook favorite. Facebook. Boom! It's just, I mean, I've been, I remember when you had to have a college email address to have a Facebook account, and they didn't a allow A college email? What it, the yeah, heck is it that? it as a university thing. Yeah. Oh, and you couldn't okay. get Facebook you haven't seen the movie yet? University well, email address. No, I haven't seen the movie. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a so, little behind. So, I mean, you know, it's come a long way since then, but I've kind of been with it for, I mean, I guess a better part of a decade wow no I you got me beat i think Dang. i got one of those notifications a while back i was a late bloomer on facebook right same yeah, I mean, yeah. You, you can't avoid it now it's hard mm -hmm. i know you walk out the door and you get hit with everybody's facebook. got one you're kind of weird if and you then, don't have yeah, one yeah i don't have a facebook what? Um, excuse you don't have a facebook. me we live. what right. so let's let them sing and as soon as they're done you can take us out yeah all right cool.
All right. All right, that's the plan. Bada bing, bada bang, bada boom. That's how we do it. They're collaborating, writing a song Ooh. right now. We're trying to choose which, which, uh, which tune we're going to do for you. <laughs> Something They're writing I can ones dab so they can debut hopefully. it on the show. Right. So if you're listening to this on iHeartRadio or you're listening to an archive show, that means it's recorded, it's not live. If you want to catch us live, just go to thechristopprogram.com. Or better yet, you can stop by the Commodore Grill anytime today, anytime on Sun. Well, not anytime tomorrow on Sunday. We're going to be here from 530 to 730, and that's the big award ceremony. So you can dress up, wear a sparkly dress, wear a tuxedo. You can wear blue jeans and a T-shirt. I don't care. And you can get your uh, picture with us on the red carpet and eat some food at the Commodore Grill and all that good stuff. Heck Lots yeah, of fun. it's going to be lit up Lots in here. And we got the Waba Awards, too. We got to keep our eye on w- that. Somebody will walk off with that thing. Yeah, because that's the coveted Waba Award. Yes. yes, my precious. Okay. okay, you're so strange. Ah. Okay. So are you guys ready to do it to it? Do we it to it. Like right. do, do it, it to it. Do it to it. When the rain is blowing in your face And the whole world is on your case I would offer you a warm embrace To make you feel my love When the evening shadows and the stars appear When there is no one there to dry your tears I could hold you for a million years To make you feel my love I know you haven't made your mind up yet But I would never do you wrong I've known it from the moment that we met There's no doubt in my heart where you belong And I'd go hungry go black and blue And I'd go crawling down the avenue And there is nothing that I wouldn't do To make you feel my love Storms are raging on a rolling sea And down the highway of regret The winds of change are blowing wild and free And baby, you ain't seen nothing like me yet And there is nothing that I wouldn't do I'd go to the ends of the earth for you I'd make you happy I'd make your dreams come true To make you feel my love Thank 
you go. Such a beautiful song. That is a beautiful song. You do that really song. well. Thanks. Really, really, really well. Some of my favorite songs of all time. So. Really, I could just listen to that all the time. Me too. That's beautiful. Just come that, sing it. That, in my house that like almost once or twice gave a week. me like okay. a heavy yeah. vibe yeah. there. Like, yeah. That was a good song. That was a good okay. Song. We had all to right. say something. Okay, you can take us out. I'm gonna take us out. Okay. Thank y'all so much. Y'all are awesome. Hey, we love Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. And you've all been listening to the Chris Top program. We do not, nor will we ever take you for granted. There are a million bajillion things you could be doing, but you chose to listen to us, and that's pretty cool, I guess. So until we broadcast again, please remember this. Life is good, and we're gone. What if your favorite music streaming service actually paid you to listen to music? What if that music service actually paid the artists and songwriters fairly? Crowd Music is the future of music. We pay artists better than any other music service out there, and now we pay the listeners. Join the crowd. Join the future. For more information, go to crowdmusic.com forward slash 111.